In this demonstration, we're going to look at how we can classify files by using a file classification mechanism. The purpose of classifying files is then we can use something like dynamic access control to decide exactly what we can do with these files. So, for example, anybody that's a manager can access high confidential files. Anybody that's non-manager cannot access the files. So what we need to do here is we just need to come into our file resource manager. So what we're going to do here is click on our file server resource manager. This then launches up the file server resource manager. What we've got here under classification properties, we've got confidentiality and department. So what I did in an earlier demo is I created these through the dynamic access control. So as we can see, it integrates in. We can see that if we just pull this across a bit. These are used for authorization for file classification and authorization for file classification as well. Possible values, you can see the possible values as well. And we can also see as well the owners. So what we're going to do at this point here is now we have these properties, we want to create some rules. So I'll come down to classification rules and right click. And what I want to do at this point here is I want to create a new classification rule. This then brings in a little wizard. So let's start filling out the table. So we're going to call this one set confidentiality and then we'll select our scope button and on our scope button what we want to do is click add because we want to add this to something and what we're going to add it to here is we're just going to go for our C drive and on our C drive what we want to do here is we just want to find our docs folder and we'll click OK. Next thing to do is come to the classification tab and what we want to do on the classification tab here is classification method we will go with content classifier in the property we've got confidentiality and in the value we've got high. So what we're also going to do here as well is we're then just going to come down here, check the parameters. So as you can see here, what we've got is the classification method requires additional config parameters. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just select configure. Then in configure, what we want to do is we want to specify a classification parameter. So what I've done here is I've come down, I've added a string, specified the expression to be secret and we'll select OK. Now that we've done that we'll just come to evaluation type. We're going to specify re-evaluate existing property values and we're going to specify overwrite the existing value. We won't bother clearing any of the automatically classified properties or clearing the user classified properties but at this point we will click OK. Now we've created the rule we need to run the rule so all we're going to do here is we're just going to right click at this point here then what we're going to do here is we're just going to actually run the classification with all rules now. And what we want to do here is just wait for the classification to complete. And then we'll select OK and we'll just allow this rule to run through. So now that's run through, as we can see here, we've got our classification report. So let's just have a quick look down here. So yep, long serve one, SQL and docs, one property. We've got two files specified here. So that's good. So the next thing we'll do here is we'll just come into Windows Explorer. Uh, within Windows Explorer, what we'll do is we'll find our docs folder. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're just going to have a look at a couple of these documents. So let's just have a look. Let's have a look at doc one first. So if we have a look at the properties of doc one, what we can see here, if we click on the classification tab, is this in, does indeed have confidentiality set to high. So why is that? If we have a look inside the document, what we can see is it says this is a, and there's our expression secret document. Let's just have a look at Doc 3 and have a look at the properties on Doc 3. Classification, not set the high. Reason for that is if we just look at Doc 3, no word secret in the document. And finally, Doc 2, Doc 2 has secret. So if we have a look, classification should be set to high. And as we can see, it is. So what we've done here is we've created a classification and applied the rule, and that has indeed apply the correct classification to the documents based off the expression. That's it in this demonstration. Thank you.